Yo, what's up, everybody? Keep my in full color, and today, today, well, we got the Indy 20XX. Now, I know in the last podcast, I told y'all I was gonna be doing some indie games, and here we are. But I have to thank Roger for this one. Roger put me onto this, so I got this off the Epic Game Store when it was free. Sorry, it didn't come a little sooner. Life has been crazy. But with that being said, so we got 20XX. This is a, a seed of Mega Man, so you can understand why Roger put me on to this because I love Mega Man. This game kind of functions as like a um, boss rush, like naturally, if you will. So as you go through the stages, you know, you'll clear them. If you die, you come back here. Uh, and then you have to run through it all over again. But there's a lot of cool stuff going on in the meantime, between time. Uh, right here, we have daily challenges, weekly challenges, hardcore challenges right here. Uh, you got a speed race and a rush job, which, you know, uh, rush job like your boss, uh, boss rush and all that. So really cool you look at it it looks really dope you can get uh you get like little chips throughout levels and stuff from certain enemies so you can use those chips to spend it on certain buffs for your character and then you got the super super tokens but moving on from there also uh there are things that you can do to make the game a little bit more difficult for you if you uh you know if you find it a little bit too easy there are two characters you can play as so mega man x ish we have nina mega man pretty much and we have ace who more so is your zero type now i should be using i should be using ace i, I really should but for this one we're gonna go as nina all right we're gonna go we're gonna go here and i want to take you guys through the intro really fast so we'll go through the intro and then we're gonna go ahead and really get into our run so the intro i really love i think it's dope it's a tutorial without like really the the text prompts and all that so you know it's like you know hey jump here jump here boom boom you even see like a, a vision of you kind of doing the action what they want you to do so boom down below another one so really dope i love this intro in terms of just here are the controls it's very i don't know the word i'm looking for but i like it i love it i love it it's it's easy to follow and you know everything i would want in an intro no real annoying do this, do that. It's just like, hey, here you go. Here's, here's the intro. Uh, 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 get money. All right. Let's get into our next part. Now, they gave me a power potion. Oh, and as you see, that's a power I'll get from my boss. Well, I might, I might do that level. I don't know. Um. We will see. Another thing I love about this intro is they, they, they start you off with something a little cool, letting you know, like, hey, you know, you, uh, oh, wait, what? Um, now, some of the power-ups actually are more so, uh, they go to your gun, your, your, your natural weapon. So... Some of them are, they'll be tagged to your power button. Some of them go to your natural weapon. So, ultimately cool. One thing I really like about it that, um, you know, doesn't exist in the Mega Man games is how, uh, oh, oh, missed. How you get damage numbers. So, I mean, you can kind of see what's what. And for later on in the game, when you're doing your runs and stuff like that, you can really figure out, hey, you know, this kind of works out a little bit better than this. Or, uh, you know, just damage-wise. What is it that you like and that you want to rock with for high damage numbers or not necessarily so high damage numbers? So, all right, we're going to get into our run. Um, let's actually buy some real quick, though. Um, so, you see, we got a lot of stuff. I got, I got 12 I can use right now. Um... all stats up um you know i'll take what's that a six banger all right we'll uh we'll get this band of might and then we'll come over here and get some health how about that all right now with that being said we're gonna we bought our buffs and now let's go Um, oh, I have three. Um, let's see. Alright. Alright, now we go. 
Uh, we're gonna start on normal because I don't want to be getting too too crazy with this and tricking up the whole whole run. All right, so we're starting with this right here. Um, so as you see, like you can even hear it in the BGM, like that eight bit. This is this is of that Mega Man fruit. All right, old chips off the bat. Oh my god, terrible. And as we all may know or not know, you know, Mega Man's uh, Mega Man games, they really reward you for going off the beaten path. Like, I mean, you'll look and you'll see like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to do this, but if I go down here and do this, ah. Uh, Now, a lot of things with these are getting back up. So if you're really not into platformers, uh, I would say this might not be for you. Um, but if you love platforming and jumping, this is ultra fun. Ooh. All right, uh, I don't I'm not gonna be able to hit that. Fuck, all right. But we're gonna keep moving on. One thing that is different from the Mega Man games, so because this is a one run uh, type deal, a lot of stuff in the Mega Man games that will just kill you outright uh, won't be able to do such here. So, like in the Mega Man games, get that. In the Mega Man games, those, those spikes would one shot you. But here, they're not gonna one shot you, they're gonna send you back to the last platform you were on. And from there, you can uh, then just. Ooh. I was not I was talking oh god you see those spikes would have one shot you in Mega Man but uh for here because it's oh. uh because it's just that one run that you're getting they just kind of send you right back to where you were uh nothing to it and from what I've played so far there's really nothing that is gonna one shot you this is gonna let you go to what's called a glory zone I know games is somewhere probably saying something about something but glory zones allow you to pretty much complete a task which is kill all the enemies and once you do that you can then get like a little item so all right and our item will be legs you can jump while in midair and fly oh, yeah very useful this will be very very useful later on so a lot of levels have uh, armor armor parts, and uh, you can use those armor parts to get things. And I, I don't think, well, there looks to be nothing really of value up there, so we're not going to go all the way up there. A, a lot of levels have a lot of hidden places in them, so always really cool to just, you know, go see what's out there and and see uh, what you can find. Because the game, like I said, will be very rewarding to, to those who are... Let's see if I can make it. Got it. So the game will be very rewarding to those who uh, just want to go take a take a little trip, take a little trip. And one other thing, I really come on, um, Beetle Man. Uh, I'm trying to shoot his face. There we go. Uh, one thing that is very dope. Oh, it's gonna kill me. Isn't it? Or no, not gonna kill me, but. All right, we are at the end. So the levels aren't exactly long; like they're uh, they're they're pretty short. I mean, that's pretty much that's a good thing due to um, I got 17. I mean, and as you see, you can use those to buy a little bit of HP at the bottom. You know, uh, normally you get those before a boss a boss battle. Uh, I try to float. I guess I couldn't float off that. And this power up for the gun, as you see, was was quite beneficial. I mean, I really didn't have to aim anything. It was just point and shoot. 
uh, which is awesome. After beating the boss, you normally get some form of power-up, and that will be there for the rest of your run. So pretty much whatever you'll get from the boss drop. Now from there, you'll be able to choose some. So we can take the boss's power, um, which is what we're going to do here. We're going to take the boss's power. We could have also got uh, an enhancement of some sort, whether that be attack enhancement or... Uh, the, it all differs boss to boss. So uh, you could have done that. Now from there, we get to actually choose our path here. So... Uh, we will go to what a, what a, what a vacuum lab. Why not? What a vacuum lab. So you kind of choose your own path, and like I said, once again, we've all seen levels like this in Mega Man. Well, for those who played Mega Man, anyways, you've seen levels like this. Highly, highly dope. In terms of just that paying homage to to Mega Man in the Mega Man series. But at the same time, kind of giving their own flavor. We got the disappearing platforms, but I can fly. Oh, God. See, that was me not paying attention. Now, Mega Man, that would have one shot me. And as you see, we here, we got we got some gravity. Gravity defined platforms going on. And earlier, we bought this little cat, and this cat has come to save the day. All right. Now, we're going to take what I... Oh my gosh. Alright. That was really off the beaten path. And I... Hmm. Um... No, anyway, I'll go back. I'll go back and see if I can't fly up there. Okay, and as you see, it just kind of sends you back. that I lost when I tricked up the bag earlier. Ooh. I kind of want to go down. Let's do that, shall we? Now, these right here are going to disappear as I touch them, so... One of those get in get out type deals you will see a lot of reuse things from uh, other levels so um there are some reuse properties so it kind of does help in terms of oh okay i, I know this always hurts when you get something like this so you know um but also while you're in here you can like see what the item is so right now i can fly which is cool um but this will allow me aerial dash um all right as you see i could pretty much dash either way i want i could dash left i could dash right i could dash up and the up dash seems crazy in terms of bunnies um, or I can I can go right to the ground. So I think I'm gonna take these dash these dashers, these dashers and prizers. Oh God, I was not. I still am not functional. Oh my gosh, I might lose the first level. This is not good. Oh my gosh, again. chips and now so chips primarily you don't use in here um those are more so for uh hmm? how's the camera changing hey hey Hmm. 
don't know if I want this, but let's see. All in one direction. Alright, we'll, we'll test it out. Let's test it out, squad. Give me some health. Don't worry, we'll buy when we get to the end. And these are little special containers right here. So they normally offer much more than what your what your standard looking containers will have in them. So always be on the lookout for those as they are very clutch. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fill up on our on our HP real quick. Two, four, six. All right. Let's get dangerous. So we got our second boss here. Second boss, Death Lotus, the Prince of Petals. Like I said, the boss, the bosses are pretty, pretty dope in terms of you know uh, level design and everything that comes with these bosses. This one kind of reminds me of uh, one of the Sigma bosses in one of the older uh, Mega Man's, just in terms of how like a pain they can be just to hit. But uh, with this uh, Forkalicious. You know, it, it does make things a little easier. Now, I don't know if you all noticed, but when you look at these, uh, what would I call them? Um, they're not exactly petals, but these little uh, squares on the field, they'll actually glow so you know exactly where the boss is going to end up at. So, super dope. Uh, we got Ninja Speed, baby. One thing I do like is that when you normally get these things, it's really easy to tell. So, as you see here, we can either, you know, get 10 nuts or uh, for our nut sack. Or we can extend our life. I normally go with the power at the beginning of my runs, just uh, out of like, all right, you know, we're starting our run. Um, let us go to go to the percolator. The percolator. Going to super hot. And oh, okay, I was not like prepared for any of that. Out of here, B. And also, um, I did forget to mention that every time you beat a boss, you do get some format of lore that goes along with it. So also pretty cool too because you are getting. Um, it is kind of one of those. The story isn't exactly told. Oh wow! I should do glowing blue thing. It's not good. Um, Now, uh, the, so the story really isn't told unto us. It's just like, uh, hey, you know, you can just stop and read the, uh, we already had Starbeam. Kind of digging for Galicious right now. So you do kind of have to hunt for the story. It is somewhat of a drag, but, um, not the story itself, but just having to kind of hunt for it. But at the end of the day, it's kind of, for me anyways, uh, one of those things where I'm like, well... You know, am I playing this for the story exactly? Not really. I mean, it would be nice if I didn't have to hunt it down, but it is what it is. Like, I knew why, why I'm, I know why I'm playing this. So I'm not playing it for a story. Um, I'm, I'm more so playing just to, to have a really good time. And currently, I'm having a really fucking good time. Seconds, I got 11 seconds. Woo. Got him. I always hate when they just give you legs over and over and over. Um, now I really like this boost jump. I think, yeah, so we're we gonna rock with the boost jump. Um, 
yeah, that's one thing that does suck when you go on your runs. You just keep getting the same exact armor piece over and over and over. Ooh, yeah, baby. Now, another thing, unlike Mega Man, uh, these uh, armor pieces, uh, not armor pieces, excuse me, your, um, your special weapons, they all share the same exact pool of energy. So you wouldn't be like in Mega Man to where you would say, well, I beat the boss, you know, Magma Dragoon, and uh, Magma Dragoon gave me, you know, um, you know, Fire Wave. You wouldn't be able to go and continuously use Fire Wave and then switch off to another power that you got from another boss and then use that with its own pool. All of them share the same pool. So in this case, you know, I'm sharing the same exact energy that I've used for the past two bosses. So it doesn't matter if I'm using my currently tagged L1, R1 power. Uh, they're all going to use the same exact thing. So you always want to keep that in mind. And that's what makes the, uh, the buff to your energy pool so clutch. You know, it's a really, really clutch thing to have. Just so that you can really use more, oh man, use more of that energy, uh, just on on regular ads, because a lot of times that makes things so much easier. But you got this fork delicious, like I got. It. Just run through. Uh, right here we have a scrap recycler. We'll just visit here really fast, and this is where you can like really spend some of your stuff. So we can get some of the things that we got at the beginning with our soul chips. So use soul chips at the beginning of your run. Uh, you use if you get a scrap recycler house, you can use that in some part of your run just to grab something that uh, you know you may want with the scraps that you've gotten. Uh, they are relatively expensive, but sometimes very worth it. So I want to increase my max health because it's worth it. You never know when you're going to get these scrap recyclers, so you always want to try to use them while you got them. Uh, we'll get that, and we're, we're just going to do it all. We're going to do it all. We still have 20 left. We're at full HP. We got a full maxed out energy bar. So right now, we're looking all right. Now, let's destroy this percolator. So far, we've gotten um, next round if... Well, I should anyways. Ah, oh, I did not line that up right. It's all good. Uh, wrong power. Did I get hit? Oh my gosh. Bomb on him. Now, I can't say that I have, um, experienced it, but I know, like, in Mega Man, pretty much some powers, like, if you use them, um... Ooh, speed bonus. All stats up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Um, let's go take on. Uh, I don't want to fight Shatterbeak. We'll go with this clown. But as I was saying, in Mega Man, for some powers, if you use them, you actually uh, would not do like a lot of damage off of uh, you know, that this. I always get like Mega Man vibes when I do that type stuff because you know Mega Man that that would have been like a one shot potentially, and I just would have lost everything. Uh, but again, in Mega, <laughs> I tripped that up the whole way, all over, running my mouth. Um, but in Mega Man, uh, for certain bosses, uh, they have like higher affinities to certain things. So like you couldn't run up on Magma Dragoon with the electricity. <clears throat> uh, power like it wouldn't do as much as it would uh, with like you know a homing missile uh, if you will so uh, this doesn't seem to be the case here it seems like powers uh, if they do not have an affinity towards the boss like you, you're not gonna really take a, a hit off of that you'll just do kind of like the standard damage however bosses do have weaknesses to other bosses moves um, just like in Mega Man and if I could like you know Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can we can speed this up. I could have got that. I could have clutched that. That was on me. Yeah, I forgot I had that double dash. Um Uh, 
All right, go to the glory zone, baby. I tricked that up really bad. Nine seconds to spare. Yay, arms, your attack kills might restore energy. Well, that's like really awesome. As you see, as we do these things, our appearance starts to change. So you see that my gun now looks like a little bird head. Serious. That's on me because I've been mighty aggro this game. Okay. Okay, they just they just be a fallen. Okay. Needed that. Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna say no. All right, we're feeling better. We are feeling much better. All right, we're here, final boss. That took some stuff out of me, we ain't gonna lie. Uh, right now, I, I, I need this. So I, I'm not probably going to the scrapyard like talking about it. Oh no, let's actually go. We got 18. Now let's see what we can do. See, it all that have been so clutch. I'd have to use all that, so clutch. Um, but let's get some extra helpful on this, cause uh, yeah, we, we hurting out here. And there's also a scrap thing in there, but it's it's a three banger for one. I think I can kill the boss without uh without using all that. I keep choosing bosses that are um kind of widescreen. There are some that you fight kind of up close and personal, so there is a, a good little mix. We're just gonna put we're bombing. We're bombing. That's what we're here for. And what will you give me, good sir? A strong arm, basic attack still, more damage. We like. We like. Alright now. Oh, we did get the speed bonus off that, so that was cool. Um what power do I not like? What's my LB? That I mean it's cool and all. I got that. Um you know, we'll change out this pulse, uh, so we'll just kind of be a straight up range. All stats up, baby. That's what we like. Oh, yeah. Now what we have here is a token machine. So we got a token, we're going to burn them, and it gave us this right here. So we don't have any more tokens, but uh, sometimes you'll get this little lottery machine and it will give you something. Sometimes I mean, you hope for the best, but you never know. Now we got Roller Coaster Beta. Now we know he's a close and personal type. He's going to give us this bad boy, which I probably will take in place of something. Um,
Yeah, we're gonna take a place of that. I do not like that. down. Mm, that was clutch. Too soon. tough because I was trying to get all cutesy bootsy with it. Got attack strength up, baby. Um, I actually want to take this in terms of what was the one I hated? This thing. Yeah. Get rid of that. And I'll take on my magma, man. Magma Dragoon. We're at that sky temple, baby. It up. And if you all get out of my way, please, I'd appreciate it. Ooh. Too slow. Too slow. Got a helmet, baby. Health pick up my grant armor. Armor scoop. Need that right now. Oh, those, those are firing. All right, so this is gonna end this run. Uh, we made it through five bosses, and we killed a lot. Uh, we got a lot of augs in the meantime, between time, but now you see kind of how it is. When you go and you die. But, like I said, when you go to start your next run, you can come back here, and you see we collected 26 soul chips. So we can use those chips in our next run. Uh, decent run. I didn't want to make it too long, so I stopped kind of really trying, just so that you saw kind of what it was. Uh, first and foremost, it looks amazing. It looks great. I'm playing it on like a 4K screen. Haha, <laughs> Terry. Anyways, it looks amazing. I'm happy about that frame rate. Everything looks good. I have had zero issues with the game entirely. I've been playing on the PlayStation 4 controller. I just hooked their USB right in and it just played immediately. I had to do nothing. With that being said, if you love Mega Man games, Mega Man X games, this game is dope. It's fire. It's really great. 
The tutorial is amazing for those who have never played a Mega Man game. It really walks you through really nice. The one knock I think I do have on it is that there are no, there's no like banter before a boss fight. In the Mega Man games, like it kind of, it did have a story to it. They were like giving you while wow, this was pertinent through cutscenes and things of that nature. Uh, well, the X series anyways, you did get cutscenes and stuff like that. Kind of just giving you more pertinence to like, or making the story more pertinent in terms of where it lied within the gameplay. So there was something, a reasoning for you having to clear all these stages. But if you don't care about like story or none of that, and you're really just into tight gameplay, this is really, really good. Some easy stages, some hard stages. Uh, stages are kind of short. So if you're a speed runner, this will be a great game to actually go and speed run. Uh, with that being said, if you like this a whole lot, let me know and I will do another run as Ace and this time I will uh, try to get to the end. I haven't made it to the end with Ace, I've made it to the end with Nina. So uh, I will do that and if you guys like this, so give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. However, it's $15 on the Epic Store. I highly encourage you to try it if you're a big fan of Mega Man games or if you're just a big fan of platformers. I think this is really dope. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. Ladies and gentlemen, peace, be easy, be blessed.